So I know it is super late at night and this background and the lighting is really, really horrible. Uh, but I really wanted to get this video out to folks before I fly tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to a whole bunch of conventions in April. Um, and if you want more information about that, go check out my website, askkayleefry.com. Um, but I just got this box in the mail and I wanted to make sure that I had an unboxing video for it because I'm going to be gone for like three weeks uh, and that's too long to wait. So, welcome. This is the Firefly Cargo Crate manufactured by QMX. Uh, these are bi-monthly crates if you haven't seen any of my unboxing videos. Um, they're all Firefly themed, so everything in the box is Firefly themed. You don't have to worry about getting something you might not want because obviously... You're going to love everything Firefly themed in these boxes. Now, if you want to get your own, head over to looted.by slash dk4tr. And if you use code Firefly10, you're going to get 10% off your first box. And that's any box, um, which is a really good deal. Especially because these run, I want to say, like 40 bucks um, for every two months, and you get $65 worth of stuff, and a ton of it is limited edition. You can't get it anywhere else, um, and that's super cool. And the stuff that's not limited edition, you're getting before anybody else does, which I personally really like. Um, anyway, this is the Shepherd Book themed box. Um, it was a really big deal because Ron Glass passed away a couple months ago, um, and so this box is really like in remembrance of him. Um, we've had boxes that feature, we've had, what have we had? We've had Kaylee Wash, Jane, Zoe. Um, we got Saffron uh, was the last box, and before that was the ship Serenity. Um, and so it's nice to be getting back to the main crew members. Um, though I do think it's cool to get like recurring characters, and the Serenity box was my favorite one by far. Definitely go check out my video on that if you haven't seen that yet. Um, but tonight we are taking a look at the Shepherd Book Box. And I've had, I only actually, I was really lucky, I only got spoiled on this sticker like yesterday or the day before, which then made me remember, oh hey, I'm getting this box in the mail really soon. Um, I know that there's going to be a Mini Master figure in here. There's a Mini Master figure in every single one. And those are always my favorite thing because they are these PVC um, very, very highly detailed figures. And you can only get them in these boxes. Um, so if nothing else, honestly, I feel like the boxes are worth it for that. Um, but yeah, I like to I like to guess. We always get an enamel pin, which is cool. I'm starting to build up a collection of enamel pins, and I gotta figure out somewhere to put them really soon. Um, I'm thinking maybe a cool jean jacket or jean vest. If you have ideas for me, put them in the comments. Um, I'm really into like enamel pins and patches, um, and I'm starting to build up a collection of Firefly ones. So I gotta I gotta find somewhere to put them. And I think about putting them on bags, but I always worry that I'll lose them. Um, so we're going to have an enamel pin. I think we're going to probably get one of the cubits again. Um, and I really, really like the cubits too. They're like, they're like miniature pop figures. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's open her up. I don't think my fingernails are quite sharp enough to open this just yet. I'm getting there. I'm getting there with my long fingernails. Um, so I'm going to use this pin to open it up because that's what I had with me because I was unprepared. By the way, looking at this uh, sticker, I, as I was looking at it just now, opening up the box, it says, This crate has been curated in part by Southdown Abbey, Persephone, White Sun System. And it's got a little tiny bit on it that says, Home to the famous Shepherd Strawberry Pie, which is really cute because Kaylee first gets her strawberries from Shepherd Book. So the way that I like to do these boxes is I will turn it so I can't even see into it, so I can't be spoiled ahead of time. I'm feeling a t-shirt, um, but I like to do t-shirts later on. This feels like a cubit, which I had guessed. So, cubits. Little tiny box. There's a ton of different ones that you can get. Um, some people like to leave these in the box, keep them as like really a collector's item, but then you don't you don't know which one you've gotten. And in every single box, there's like two different ones that you can get. Um, and it looks like oh my gosh, okay, this looks like Badger, but he also looks like he's missing a hand. So I'll have to look in the box for that or let QMX know. Um, 
I've got a cute little businessman right here who doesn't have his hand. Oh no. Um, did you know, fun fact about Badger, originally Joss was going to play the role, but then they saw Mark Shepard do it, uh, and he was perfect for it. I'm trying to see if he has his little... It's very dark in here, so it's hard to see. But he does he does have a little tiny pin right there. I can't tell if it's a flamingo from how dark it is in here. Um, yeah, funny. In the Shepherd book box, you get Mark Shepherd. Cute! All right, let's see what else is in here. That feels like my Minnie Master. What is this? Ooh! Firefly Shipworks, QMX Caliber Metalworks. Firefly Limited Edition Exhibition Pocket Watch. I looked at that from the back first, which meant I got surprised. And we've got Serenity on the front of it. That's a cool thing to have. Ooh, I'm very into this. All right, so we've got a super detailed back. And on the front is Serenity, of course. I'm gonna tip this so it's not like shining on my screen. On the back, it looks like florals. And let's see if I can open oh, There's a little thing in the way of me opening this. Get over there, you. Oh, and it's, I mean, it has the wrong time on it, but it is wound. I'm trying to show you this without blinding everyone and blinding my camera, more importantly. That is very cool. Definitely. A collector's piece that I'm I'm very into this this is one of my favorite things they've made I mean I don't have much of a use for pocket watches as it were um, I don't really wear a watch at all I tell the time with my phone um, but if I did wear a pocket watch that one's a nice one um, and I'm sure a lot of folks are gonna be very interested in collecting that once it's out after the box let's see I might as well take the t-shirt out now, I guess. Here is this shirt. This looks like, I think this may be one of Jane's shirts. Um, because I don't think Shepard Book ever wore this shirt, but someone will have to. Or it might be an original. It says, Enjoy. And it's printed on the shoulder. It's a nice, comfy material. Definitely a sleep shirt material. I'm into it. I'm into it. So that's that. Let's see. This feels like my sticker. Yep. So one of the things that you get in every box is a copy of the sticker. Um, and I need to do something with all of my stickers. But you can see right there the, uh, the bit about the shepherd's pie. So there's a sticker. I keep everything in a display case. I had to dedicate... A display case for everything. Envelope. Aha! These are the interplanetary flashcards. These ones are from Haven. We've been getting these in a couple boxes. We got these in the wash box. We got these in the saffron box. Um, this is just one card in this box it seems. I wonder if like what I'll do with all of these cards because they might be nice to like put in small frames. So here's Haven. Number 213 Blue Sun System. Uh, you've got it in different languages at the top. And then on the back, um, it tells you how close it is to things, what the gravity is, what year it was terraformed, how many people live there. Um, terraforming was only partially successful on the small moon of Haven. The harsh climate and giant sandworms were a constant threat to terraforming stations. Nevertheless, a hardy band of selenium miners colonized the moon almost a century ago, and their descendants eke out a difficult life among the dunes and the salts. Um, wow, days are long there. Haven is one of only three worlds in the verse that refuse to recognize alliance law or honor alliance extradition treaties. As a result, the remote and rugged moon has long been known as a safe hideout for fugitives, rogues, and smugglers. Which is why our band of misfits heads there in the movie Serenity. And that's actually where our book dies, which is really, really sad to think about. Um... But these are cool cards. We've gotten them in a couple uh, different boxes. Um, we've gotten a bunch of different planets. This feels like a book, like a very solid book. Let's see what this is. Aha! 
So this is a publication of The Shepherd's Tale, which I actually already have a hardcover of, um, and I've read, and I highly recommend it to folks because um, anyone who's wondering, like, what's going on with Shepherd Book, what's his backstory, like, why did the Alliance treat him the way that they did, this is the book that tells you everything. Most people recommend reading through it like a couple of times because the timeline is pretty funky in it. Um, but it's great. I love so much that all of the comics and all of the graphic novels like give us more story. Um, and that's something that I talk about in the panels that I do. I talk about um, how like anyone who wants more Firefly, like it is being created and it does exist. You just have to be willing for it to be in a different medium. We've got it in graphic novels. We just had a mini series that ended, um, which was Serenity, No Power in the Verse, a six issue mini series. Um, but for folks who are really looking for more of that, um, and are willing to read the graphic novels, they're really good. They're really well illustrated. They get a bunch of different illustrators for them. I love Georges Gianti. He's the one who did this shirt and uh, has been doing the current run. He did a bunch of Buffy comics before this. Um, this one, I don't actually know who illustrated this one because this one's from a while back. Um, the art is Chris Samney and the colors are Dave Stewart. Um, but yeah, these are, this is nice. I'm glad to have another copy because why not? Alright, let's see what is next. This feels like the enamel pen. <laughs> I love this one. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm going to take it out of here so it's not shining and blinding everyone. Okay, favorite enamel pin so far. Going to that special hell. This is great. Like, honestly, I might even wear this on regular clothes and not just keep it with my, uh, with my Firefly pins because it's funny and it says a funny thing. And it has funny implication for the folks who get it. Um, plus, aren't we all going to that special hell? I mean, no, you shouldn't be. Don't take advantage of women. Um, but this is a great enamel pin. This is definitely, gosh, I love that. I, w I want this, like, on a barbecue sauce, like, special hell barbecue sauce. I would buy that. I would put it on tater tots. My favorite thing is barbecue sauce on tater tots. That sounds so good. Now I'm hungry. And I think the last thing is the Mini Master figure. The nice thing about these boxes is they show you what it looks like on every side. So if you are keeping it as a collector's edition item, um, you can easily keep it in the box and still get an idea of what it looks like. I open them up. I really like the figures. I like posing them with different things. Um, I think they're great. I'm going to keep them all, so I don't mind that they are not mint condition in box. And I've lost the pin that I used to open my things, which is what I'm glimpsing. There it is. These are always put together differently. Uh, sometimes they're taped together super tightly and other times they are not. It's good that they're well protected though. These are beautiful and these are one of the, these are something that you can only get in the box. So I think it's what makes loot crate, these cargo crates worth it because these are beautiful figures and if anyone remembers the little damn action figures or the big damn action figures or whatever they were, they never did a full run of some of those guys. Um, and they were really hard to come by. The pieces were very, very hard to find. So protected very intensely in styrofoam and then in his own little bag. We've got our shepherd book. So here he is standing, looking very wise. He looks very threatening because he's underlit right now. Um, I almost wish that his hair was like poofing out because I think that's a very funny pose. Um, and it's a memorable thing from the series. Um, but yeah, I love his little hands. Look at him. 
I love the detail that goes into these and you can tell that they were really, really well sculpted. Um, their, their artistry, like the, the pieces in them are beautiful and they're my favorite thing in the boxes, um, just like in general. I think that was everything. This is a shorter box. We got bulkier things, um, but less of them. So peeking in there, nothing else in the box. I also love, and I don't know if I've shown this before, the uh, the cargo crate is literally the cargo hold of Serenity. Like you can see some cows in there, and you can see the uh, the mule and some other cargo. Um, I love that about these. Though the thing that I've said in a couple of my videos is I wish they had made it so they were all different places in Serenity, and then you put it all together, um, and it was a giant Serenity for you to have. That would be cool. Anyways, this is the signal. It's the book that you find in every single one. Um, and it tells you like what's in the crate. It gives you different recipes, which I totally want to take some of these recipes and make them for you guys and like do videos of that. Um, the other thing it does is it teases the next crate, which is no power in the verse can stop us. Don't make faces. We're going for a ride with even more A grade cargo, including a very graceful little damn hero figure and more. Try not to swallow any bugs along the way. If you've seen my page, if you follow me on Facebook, you know that the next crate is River, and I'm so excited for River's box, because um, I actually went on a tour of QMX a while back, and I got to see the little damn figure of her, and she's dancing, which they've released in the pictures, so now it's okay that I say it. Um, and, and one of the things that we had talked about was that it's so hard to find merch of her dancing, even though that's such a big character trait of hers. So I know everyone is really excited for this box, and everyone's gearing up for this box. And if you're only ever going to get one box, definitely go for the River box. Um, you have until May 15th, I believe, to order it. Um, so that's looted, L-O-O-T-E-D dot by slash dk4tr and there'll be a little link at the in the description of this video um to click and then type in firefly 10 and you get 10 percent off um and definitely go for this box like these boxes are awesome and amazing um and they're great and they're so worth it and everyone loves river everyone loves summer cloud so here's a little how you get there, looking back at the career of Ron Glass. You can see, look how young Joss is. And let's look at that dopey hair. Then you get to see pictures of the uh, people who have bought the, the crates and everyone, what they're doing with their merchandise. Lots of cats into the cats down here and how people are storing their things if you tag anything hashtag cargo crate um you might get featured this is a really nice one this is a display of it my display is not that nice but maybe someday then here's an interview uh with zach whedon and scott alley behind the shepherd's tale so this is talking about um the, the the graphic novel. This is long. It's a very long interview. Then you've got a recipe for shepherd's pie, which I will attempt to make at some point. And then you get to see what's in this week. This uh this week this month's cargo crate. These are bi monthly, so you get one every other month. You've got your mini master figure. Um, apparently you could either get Zoe or Badger. I wish I had gotten Zoe. I want the Badger. I want Kaylee and I want Simon. And that's all I ever want. Uh, I'm not that picky. Not that hard to please. Someday, eventually. Yep, so this is a Jane shirt. It's a replica Jane shirt. Um, this is designed by Shauna Triptych. I wonder if this is like Coca-Cola inspired. Then we've got the flashcard, the going to that special hell lapel pin. And then my last favorite thing is that they always say, we love you, at the back of the signal. This is a good box. I'm pretty happy with, with a lot of the stuff in this box. I would say this is definitely um, among the top boxes that we've gotten 
I love the Serenity box, though. I really, really love the Serenity box. And I'm excited for Rivers box. I'm sure there's going to be tons of cool stuff in there. Um, and I can't wait to see what it is. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, consider you can subscribe to me on YouTube. You can check out my other uh, unboxing videos. I'm online everywhere. Um, just Google Ask Haley Fry or go to AskHaleyFry.com. It's got my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube. Uh, I'm also on Patreon. You can support me on Patreon and live stream these unboxings. So watch them as they happen a couple hours earlier than anybody else, um, as well as live stream panels that I'm going to. Um, so that's just patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash ask Kaylee Fry. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys at the next box. Um, again, that's looted.by slash DK4TR. Um, click the link underneath the, uh, the bio and, uh, stay shiny.